time someone graduated to heroin and didn't tell their loved ones about it. Well, we were married. There were some problems. Same problems ended up killing her. Why don't you take a couple of days off? Yeah, I'm gonna. Look at this. Hey, what's he doing back? Good to see he's lost that smug grin. I'd like to take off with a belt sander. Detectives! So the welcome back party you throw me, that's after the talk. You're gonna like this a lot better than our old place. No, I won't. Come on, Theo. I won't, I hate it. Okay, Theo, let's go. Your bath's ready. I'm tired today. Well, the bath will wake you up. Come on. Things okay at your new school? Been pretty quiet about that. That's fine. You make any new friends? No. Theo, what is bed again? Three nights in a row now. Can you talk to him about it? I will. Where's the clean sheets? Sheets are still dirty. I thought you did the laundry. Well, that's the baby stuff and ran out of detergent. We're supposed to pick some up. Connie, you need to remind me with that. I mean, I got a few things on my mind. I got a few things on my mind, too. All right, look, I'm, I'm not trying to start something here. Neither am I. It's just the division of chores is getting a little uneven. You want me to just... do the laundry? I've done plenty of laundry. Oh, she's cocky. Okay. Okay. Theo, are you in the tub yet? Leave me alone. Andy, your pager. I'm just trying to settle her. That's it. Okay, thanks. Sure. Elaine Kopeck beat with the drill. Throw job. Any sign of breaking? Oh, well, the place looks secure. Who called it in? Uh, super. I haven't talked to him yet. We got it. We'll start a canvas. Yeah. Detective Sipwitz and Clark. What's your name? Neffy. Neffy? Neffy Concepcion. So uh, you found a body, Neffy Concepcion? Rang, knocked, and I let myself in. I got you here. Toilet leak. She said, be here 9 a.m. exact. 9 to 1, I would have heard about it. She live alone? With her husband, a lawyer. Always working. You know if they fought? Mrs. Kopik? She fought with everyone. You putting down tiles? Licks and locks only. She hired illegal for that. Who? Orlando something. We didn't talk. Glue's wet. Guy left in a hurry. Where are we going to find this Orlando? We didn't talk. I got that part. No idea. But he probably did this. He's Mexican. And you're what? Swedish? Puerto Rican. I'm an American. According to who? To Miss America pageant? I guess I missed that 51st star in the flag. We'll be in touch if we have some questions. Yeah. I'll do a little adjustment period. Does it show? Johnson met of one. They're responding to a DOA on Hester. Welcome back, Will. Thanks. Yeah, hi. I need to schedule a three month check with Sean McDowell with Dr. Graber. What's going on with the case? Husband's on his way in. The handyman they were using was an illegal. We don't have an address or last name. We're hoping a husband can point us to him. Sounds good. But is there any way we can kind of narrow down the time frame? Because last time I waited an hour to see him. No, I understand. Busy already, huh? You know how stuff backs up? The funeral was tough, I imagine. Sad. Seeing the folks that way. Good people. The word I gave the squad was that he was an old friend and you're not looking to rehash. I appreciate that. 
if you need anything. It means a lot. That, uh, I can rely on you. He's a brother. Stabbed in the chest. Bum over here called it in. The guy stinks like a German shepherd. How'd he wind up finding a body? I didn't get there yet. Yeah, we'll keep enjoying your coffee there, Laughlin. Yeah, don't worry about all those pesky details. So, uh, our test crossed the West Third. Blood's dry. It's been here a while. Bunch of picnic type food in the back. I got an ID card here. Uh, Charity called the Mara Hope. Made out to uh, Omar Givens. Let's talk to this guy. Hey, Aqualung. Protect this Metaboy and Jones. Kevin Gansler, everybody calls me Boner. Uh, let's just stick with Kevin. So how'd you find a body? Walking by, saw him, called 911. And you were here because... Uh, kind of in between residencies. Tell me something, Kevin. If we run that car for Prince, yours coming up? Figured he was sleeping it off. Door wasn't locked, so you just thought you'd help yourself. To the food in the back seat. I laid off once I saw he was dead. You got a record, Kevin? It's a minor pot stuff. We're sticking around. Why? Why do you think? Hey, Lawson, hold him. If it's not too much of a problem. Thanks for coming down, Mr. Kopeck. I understand how difficult this is, but uh, you helping out is important. I understand. When did you see your wife last? Last night. Not this morning? Uh, we keep separate bedrooms. I left for the office before she got up. You two live alone? Yes. Now, our son Marshall moved out a few months ago. Notice anything unusual on your way out? No. Your wife have any enemies? Helene was difficult. Temperamental. Is that a yes? I can't think of anyone who would do this. She's difficult towards you? I learned to live with it. Like keeping separate bedrooms, things like that? That's right. And what time exactly did you see her last? 10.30. I did some research online till 2, then to bed. I uh, got up at 6. By 7, I was in the office. If you need this verified, the website's got a log, and my assistant will confirm the time I got in. You've been preparing for this, Mr. Kopeck, taking notes? I know a little bit about investigation procedures. I'm an attorney. So reciting your agenda, that was giving us a little leg up? To rule me out so that you can concentrate on who actually killed Elaine. There's a little gap between 2 and 6 in the morning. I was sleeping. Anybody confirm that? No. I didn't kill my wife. You got any candidates for who did? I was a handyman doing some tile work. Who no one can seem to find. Orlando Marquez, 2015 Avenue D. Presto. It's all for finished here. I've got some funeral arrangements to attend to. We'll be in touch. See you no more. We found this card of yours in Ortez Foster's truck. Cool. I've been looking for that. <clears throat> How you know Ortez? Mayor Hope, we both volunteers. When did you see him last? At the barbecue yesterday at the Mason's Lodge for the kids? Not after. He drove me back to Brooklyn. And when I was waiting to do it, too. That's the type of guy he is, though. He'd give you last shit off his back. And where was he headed, did you say? This girl, Maisha, in Soho. They seen each other, I guess. Artez was found dead in his truck this morning. What? Yeah, and the problem is, Omar, you're the last guy we placed with him. You're not thinking... We've enticed since the day we met. Artez took me under his wing, like I was his project. What kind of project? He made out a life plan for me. That's what he called them, life plans. All about positive thinking, eating right. It didn't take, but, but that's all on me. Nothing more from Artez after he dropped you off? No. You nervous about something, Omar? Nah, why? Because you've been chain-smoking those candies since you walked in the door. They're sugarless. Give my mouth something to do. Yeah, huh? Look, all I can tell you is what anyone would tell you who met the dude, okay? Artez was a hero. Ain't no way anyone that knew him would do this. Your whereabouts from the time he dropped you off until this morning. Fits Orlando's description. Hey, grab those guys! 
They're not ready for their help. Please, stop! Freeze, Orlando Márquez. We got those two guys. They're both illegal. What do you want me to do with them? Get him ID and cut him loose. We got who we came for. He's trying to explain a hold up on his green card application. Yeah, Baja Orlando. No somos inmigración, okay? Siéntate. You speak English? A little bit. Do you know Elaine Kopeck? She called police? I don't want to have to call police. Why is that? She no pay. I work five days, ten hours each day, nothing, no money. Did you get in a fight with her about it? No. What, did it make you upset? Yes, but I... What's she saying? No. You first, Orlando. What happened this morning? I asked for money. She say, work no good, tile no good. I say, you want tile this way, so it's this way. She yell and scream, stupid idiots. I, I walk away. You never put your hands on Mrs. Kopeck. What's she saying? She's not saying anything, Orlando. She's dead. Nah. Did the fight maybe get a little worse than you're saying? No. She was calling you names, keeping money from you. Makes sense you lose your temper. I walk away. Leaving your money behind and your tools, Orlando. We want to help you, but you're not being honest. First, no my tools. Her tools, so I leave. Second, no money, it's okay. Better listen, stupid idiot. You've got an assault charge on your record. My sister, her boyfriend, he steal from her, so I go to him and we fight. Well, Mrs. Kopeck holding your money. That's like stealing from you. Makes sense fighting over what's yours in the first place. No. I walk away from her. To where? To home. My wife. Her parents. I'm not even angry. I walk away. Okay, in the cage, Orlando. You're sticking around a while. I'll run it for the others. Thanks for coming in, Mr. Kopeck. You all right to answer a few questions? Did you talk to the, the, the handyman, the tile guy? Because uh, I know she was having trouble with him. She mentioned that to you? Well, she wasn't happy with his work, and they had uh, words over it, fights. She ever mentioned him threatening her? Not specifically. Did you talk to the guy? What did he say? Well, he's not looking too good for it, but we're working on it. Because she said he was no good. You moved out of your parents' apartment recently? Uh, three months ago. Why'd you move out? I got engaged. I moved into what's going to be my wife and my apartment after the wedding. So your mom and dad, they got along? They got along fine. How long have they been sleeping in separate bedrooms? A while. Did they fight a lot? No. Did he ever threaten her? Are you insinuating that my dad was involved in this? What do you think? No. It's wrong. No way. So as far as you know, everything between them has been fine, non-traditional, but fine. Yes. How was your relationship with your mom? I got along with her better than anyone. I understood her. Can you account for yourself since last night? Oh, now you're accusing me? We just need to rule you out. I was home. My fiance was with me all night. I went to work at 6.30. Benton Archer. It's a broker's house. All right, names, numbers, so we can confirm that you're out of here. A lot of nerve you two have got. A lot of balls. My mom got killed today. Just trying to find out who did it. Where you at? Uh, we got a statement from the DOA's fat friend. I'm checking out his alibi. Baldwin's bringing up the DOA's girlfriend, the Maisha Houston. His son's staring it back to the handyman. A cop with the sector says he answered two domestic disturbance calls recently at their residence. The DOA and her husband basically going at each other's throats. And I checked with family court and they said Leonard Kopeck filed for divorce two months ago. So is his son covering up for the dad? No, we don't know. The son was playing it pretty coy. Coy? Hoo hoo, give this guy a box of Cracker Jacks. You never heard the word coy before? I talk to the father. Were you attacked by a koi fish as a kid, or is that about something else? Theo's wet in his bed. We don't know what to do about it. Don't kids do that? Not when he had the problem beat for two years. Oh, new school, new room. He'll adjust. I hope I did right by him with this move. You know he did. Yeah. So, 
Maisha, you, you say that uh, you and Artez weren't dating anymore? No, but we were still close. He was coming by to help me with my resume. When were you expecting him? By 8. Like most men, Artez kept his word. By 8.15, I knew something had happened. Your knowledge, uh, he ever dabbled in drugs? No, never. He sounds like a great guy. Why'd you break up? He'd catch me reading Cosmo, sneaking an Oreo, and I'd, I'd get this look. Like I disappointed him. Garbage in, garbage out. That's what he'd say all the time. Mm. I couldn't meet his standards. I couldn't deal with the pressure. Well, anyone have a beef with him? Lots of folks were jealous. They can't be like me, so they want to spite me. That's what he'd say. No, I I'm thinking more along the lines uh, of an argument or something recent. We were at this club, Vingo's, one time. Artez saw this guy yelling at some girl. Artez went over and told him to leave her alone. They took it outside, and Artez kicked his ass. When was this? A year ago. No, recent. I'm looking for something recent. Well, Artez does have this um, second cousin, a guy named Elias. He's been in prison. Have they been hanging out? Artez was mentoring him. Mentoring him or sticking his nose in his business? That's a good question. Sorry to interrupt your morning, period. Funeral arrangements were made. My son's with his fiancée. I didn't see a point in wasting the day. Cops ever respond to a domestic disturbance at your apartment, Mr. Kopech? Raised voices with the extent of it. The Mortons think the building's a mausoleum. What'd you fight about? This is so tedious. Well, her fault, your fault. Things just didn't turn out the way either of us hoped. Occasionally it boiled over. That way you filed for divorce? I withdrew the petition. Why? I'm 58. We've been together so long, I just couldn't go through with it. Plus, things would have been pretty expensive, right? How dare you? I gotta tell you, Leonard, those pesky four hours you can't account for are starting to nag at us. Add in the domestic disturbance calls and being at work the day your wife's killed? I did not kill my wife. You got an insurance policy we should know about? Mistress on the side? I'm retaining counsel. Contact me again. Save it. We'll leave you alone with your grief. You talked to Leonard Cooper? Lawyered up. DOA's phone dump just came back. Uh, a couple dozen calls to a Helen Eckery in the past few days, all of them short. Helen, that's his son's fiance. We'll get her in. Keep me up to speed. You got a phone number for Eckery? In here. Any particular page? Andy. I couldn't help overhearing a conversation with John before about Theo's bedwetting. It, it really got me thinking. Did it? Yeah. So, uh, when my brother Clifford was born, I developed a nasty habit of taking dumps on the front lawn. Met a boy. My, my folks were wits, and they kept sending me to doctors. Diagnosis was irritable bowel syndrome. I'm drinking coffee here. Point being, I was acting up on account of Clifford's arrival. Regressive behavior, they call it. You saying that's what Theo's doing? Because he's jealous? Something he may not even be conscious of. Kids his age are used to being the center of attention. Baby comes, uh, that's over. What'd your folks do? They waited it out. I caught on. I, I still had a place in the family. Found my way back to the can. He's, he's like you, Andy. <laughs> Something new comes up. And you, you piss all over it, and then eventually you, you come around. And I, I'm just saying, give Theo some time. Thanks, man. What? Yeah. Looking for Lieutenant Rodriguez? Let me ask what's this reference to. Rat squad, I guarantee you. Who's that? Are you around tonight? Uh, yeah. John. This is Sergeant Sider, Detective Beck, and I
hell's up? Everybody stay here. Possession of narcotics. Stop. This is crazy. I'm taking this the firearm. Come on, man. I don't know how it got there. Put your hands behind your back. Detective. You don't need to do that. All right, this is bullshit. Go on by the book. It right is now. not mine. Maybe somebody planted dope in my car. Don't cuff him. Procedure. Turn it all right. We have to do You know you don't have to do that. Don't you get yourself in a jackpot. You guys are out of your mind. This kid doesn't do drugs. Back off. John, I'll call the union. Get you a lawyer. talking about a brick a baggie how much heroin why the hell don't they answer the phone lou you got some private line to the union because there's nobody picking up i'll get on it is it something that could have fallen out of an evidence bag unbelievable didn't fall out of anything somebody put it there you get haywood on the phone yet she's out of her office yeah, there's no answer from a cell phone or pager she must be in court we'll find someone who will get a message to her i want his rep and a lawyer at iab before he gets there they put him in cuffs like he's some kind of skill i got that guy you wanted elias downing put him in the room which one pick one Let's say the DOA's cousin did some time. They, they hang out together. Take him. Hey, boss, you know I'm I'll get on John's rep and lawyer. Everybody else get back to work. In case you didn't notice, IAB just hauled out one of your detectives. Well, it'll be a while before they interview him. Until then, there's nothing we can do. Talk to this cousin. The fiance, Miss Equi, whatever her name is. Get her in. If you want to stick close to the squad today, I will understand. Yeah, I'll be all right. Where are you going, Andy? I got someone to talk to. Sorry about your partner. I'd be more sorry for the guy who set him up. I wouldn't be so sure about that. I had a cousin, straight-A student, found out she had a 200-a-day habit. I was completely blindsided. I'm gonna find out. There's nothing I won't do to find out. Good for you. When I do find out, if it comes back to you, Laughlin, you better pray that there's people in the room when I come to take you in. Hey, if your smackhead partner wants someone to blame, she should take a good long look in the mirror. So should you. Maybe, if you had his back. Go ahead, blow that patch. What's going on? Detective Sipowitz here is looking for contributions to the John Clark Legal Defense Fund. I passed. Who's in charge here? You guys? Who can tell me why I got hauled in here? We found your prints inside a car belonging to Artes Foster. Yeah, so? How you know Artes? We cousins. Where were you last night, Eddie? Eddie? My name's Elias, and I was home. Anyone with you? Just my bed. The house party went three days, I was sleeping it off. But when did you see our test last? Why? Because we're asking. And you answer a question with a question again, we'll give you something else to sleep off. Haven't seen him in weeks. Yo, you got trouble, Elias. Because our test was found dead this morning. Damn. Now, where were you last night? I already told you. You're not test tight. I parted ways with that fool. You sound pretty broken up. What, you had a fall now? <laughs> Never had a fallen in. I get out of jail. My mom asked his mom, could he look out for me? Because he liked this dude good at type. Did he? Freak wake me up to go jogging. Take me to my P.O. Give me books to read. You know, this self-enlightenment crap. But the dude turned mother head. I can't even go to the bathroom Get to what it. happened last time you saw him. Coming back from this outlet mall on 17, we hit this diner. I wasn't hungry, but yo, his treats. So Come on, what happened? I ordered a Jack and Coke. He saw us in how booze is the devil's urine. Garbage in, garbage out. That was his big line. All she wrote. Told him to kiss my ass. And this was when? I told you. Weeks ago. Me and him was done. Get it. Why? Because your attitude sucks, your alibi sucks, and until we clear you, you're cooling off in here. Then could I get a message to him? Then could I get a message to Sergeant Martens? Yeah, I know he's not there. I want to leave a message. You know what? I'll call back. Union reps on his way to IAB. Lawyer? Detectives and Dominant Association's gonna get him a lawyer. I don't want some half-assed DEA lawyer. He needs a name guy. I'll call Valerie and never put some names together. Any chance of seeing him? They barely acknowledge he's in their building. What's up? I'm trying to remember the name of this this real shock defense attorney. 
tore me to pieces on a stand once. Emmy on your case. Autopsy on Ortez shows uh, shortening mustard and chocolate in his chest wound. Meaning what? The knife that killed him saw a lot of action at the picnic table. Can I help us? Yeah, I think we got somebody to talk to. Uh, can you lodge this Elias down and he's downstairs? Hey, I remember it rhymed or something. Uh, Dan Davis, that's it. Real shock. We're working on a lawyer. You work your case. Helen Eckery to see Connie McDowell or Rita Ortiz. Ortiz, this way, Helen. Shouldn't I come too? This won't take long. I'd like to be there. Marshall. I don't want them badgering you like they did Marshall. to Marshall. should get a soda. I'll show you to the machine. This way. So, Helen, how'd you get along with Mrs. Kopeck? Fine. You have to think about it? I'm distracted. Rough day. We ran our phone records and found 16 short calls to you over the last week. What about? Wedding arrangements. You were planning the wedding together? That's what she thought. You didn't get along so great, did you? There's a word to describe Elaine Kopeck. I won't speak it, but it starts with a C. How'd she show it? Aggressively butting into my wedding plans, possessiveness over Marshall, hatred of me, and deriding my family who happened to outshine hers like the sun to a light bulb. She was a big, fat C. When's the last time you saw her? Two weeks ago. You weren't there this morning? God, no. Because if you were, we'll find out about it. You think I killed Elaine? Please. I wouldn't waste my time. Wouldn't waste time I'd stolen from a bum. Account for your last 24 hours. At my apartment. The one you share with Marshall? No, can't cohabitate until after the wedding. Another bit of Elaine nonsense Marshall capitulated to. I was at my apartment. Anyone vouch for that? My brother and his wife. They're in from Radnor. Marshall get along well with his mother? Too well. It interfered. Has it been escalating recently with the wedding and all? I suppose. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I told him, her or me. When did you say it last? Two days ago. Oh, come on. Marshall killing his mother? Not possible, ladies. Can you account for him this morning? He was at home. He said he was with you. So your position is heroin just appeared in your vehicle. I'll say it again. It's not mine. I have no idea how it got there. Look, if you're covering for a friend or a family member... I'm not. You know how this works, Detective. Now, absent proof that someone stashed heroin in your car, then it's on you. Look at a uniform named Ed Laughlin. A cop? Yeah, who's been butting heads with me ever since I got to the 15th. You ever threatened? Yeah. I mean, nothing specific, but th th there's bad blood. Ask around. I'm gonna get a fair shake now. Detective Clark was just explaining to us how a cop set him up. And while he is, it's a waste of time. Lose the attitude and tell us about this cop. Ed Laughlin. He's a uniform, you know who he is. And you're saying he framed you? I'm saying he's who you should be looking at. Any proof of his involvement? I kicked his ass in a smoker. I, I uh, made him put in his papers for, for sleeping with that auxiliary cop. But now he's back on the job. He still thinks I squealed. Any direct proof? Will you tell me. Or did that idea to search my car just come to you? Let's talk about you, detective. When's the last time you vouched narcotics? A few months ago on that money T-bust. What quantity was involved? Sixty-something kilos. Heroin, right? I was never alone with it. Talk to Detective Sipowitz, McDowell, or Tease. They'll verify that. If you have a substance abuse problem, now's the time to tell us. You gotta be kidding me. You under any type of financial pressure, detective? This is crap. You're not helping yourself here. Well, let me help you. I don't have a drug problem or a personal problem or a financial problem or any problem except being set up. Got it? Detective, we'll need a urine sample. Be advised if you refuse, we'll seek a court order. Yeah, bye. for you, Marshal, so stick to being honest. This will be painless. Meaning it could be painful? What's going on? You weren't with your fiancé this morning. Yes, I was. You were with your mom. No. Now is the time to tell the truth. Did you even talk to the tile guy? I have had a frustrating day. Sorry to hear that. Ordinarily, I would handle this calmly. 
but I am too full of frustration, and it is this close to boiling over. I wasn't at my mom's this morning. I got nothing against you, Marshal. I understand what you did. I didn't do anything. Your mom was a cold bitch who shoved you around, and his fiance is her carbon copy. Don't you dare talk about Helen like that. So I don't want to beat the crap out of you, but I don't think I'm going to be able to control myself. You're out of your mind. Don't hurt me. You went over there this morning huh? to talk about her button into your life. It escalated. She kept saying, if I married Helen, she'd never speak to me again, which is exactly what Helen was saying about my mother. When did the drill come in? She kept calling her names. The same names that Helen called her, and I just lost it. The drill, Marshal. Whore, slut, bitch. Over and over and over, and I had to shut her up. So you picked up the drill. It was on the ground. You picked it up, and you whacked her with it to shut her up. That was the first shot. The rest is... I just... I was at my limit. Okay, Marshal. All right. He's looking at an A felony. Oh, oh, back up. What are we talking about? That report came back. The weight is four ounces. You're kidding me. They just transferred him to a holding cell. Reader's on the way. When's he being arraigned? Probably sometime tomorrow. Between the weight and them thinking he's a dirty cop, he's screwed as far as bail. I don't disagree. So he just sits in a cell. I'll keep my ear to the ground. You heading down there? Yeah. Anything he needs, anything I can do. I'll be late. I know. I'll try to remember detergent on the way home. I'll take care of it. No, because I don't want to be shirking my duties at home. Andy, don't take this out on me. I'm talking about detergent. No, you're not. I'm worried about John, too, so stop it. I can't let him just sit in a cell. I gotta take care of this. I want you to. Go. This is wrong bringing me in again. We already talked. We have no more time for this, Omar. Not today. Now, we'll get a warrant to search your place. A knife, bloody clothes, we'll find something. And then you get no play. So be straight now or die in jail. You have a bit of a weight problem, don't you? I'm big boned. But yeah. Well, we don't see an opinionated guy like Artez letting that slide. Artez ain't letting nothing slide. How you dressed, ate, crapped. We talked to a lot of people knew him, and the same words kept coming up. Pushy. Judgmental. In your face. Ten minutes with him, he find ten things wrong with you. Even you. Do you send yourself positive affirmation letters in the mail? <sighs> no. Okay, well, you're living your life wrong. That was Artez. Something went down between you two. Him being a prick. That's gonna matter. But you keep shoveling it. No one's gonna see that. All they're going to see is you killing him, then lying about it. What you got to understand is I'm a good person. Twice a week, I volunteer for the kids. What did Artez do? If I want a piece of leftover cake, I'm entitled. I've earned it. Artez gave you a hard time about eating cake? He's driving. I reach back for a slice, and he's all like, don't do it, Omar, don't do it. He pulls over, says I'm killing myself. Garbage in, garbage out. That's what he say. I can't let you do it, Omar. Who made him king? Exactly. Give me the knife he kept saying. Have some dignity. I got my dignity. You want the damn knife, Artis? Here it is! Ugh! All this over cake? Over a piece of damn cake? You wouldn't shut up. Oh, you showed him, didn't you? Four ounces. Yeah. Bill's gonna be through the roof. If I even make Bill. We're gonna work this out. Call your dad? Not yet. He gets the word tonight, I'll find the bar. You don't want him hearing this on the news. I'll head over there tonight and tell him. Yeah, good. I need some time with Andy, okay? drugs weren't mine. If I thought they were, I wouldn't be here. I've been going through everything in my head. It's got to be Laughlin. He's a good place to start. No, he's the guy. I know it. Anyone you know use? Just informants, but uh, none of them would burn me like this. How about when you were narcotics? You ever transfer anybody in your car? No, never. No, it's, it's got to be Laughlin. 
All right, I tracked down Mark Tens. The warrant was based on an anonymous call. Figured as much. I'll check with our CIA, see if anybody's got something on Laughlin we can use. And then uh, tonight I'll start eyeballing his activity reports over the last few months. See what he's busted for heroin amounts. You went to the trouble setting me up. My guess is he didn't leave a calling card. A lot of your great minds, they got their best thinking done when they were locked up. Gandhi, Mandela. So I work on my manifesto until I get out. We're gonna clear this up, John. You'll look back, it'll be a bump in the road, nothing more. You should take off, get back to Kanye and the kids. Bump in the road. Just get me out of here. The Daily Show next on the arrest of a congressman.